Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to show you how you can change the metrics used by EIGRP. So quite simply, if we want to change a metric, a route metric, say, in EIGRP, then we have to look at the components of that metric. And so for us, that means bandwidth and delay, because those are the two component values that the EIGRP metric is based upon. Now, we've talked about bandwidth already when we, when we covered OSPF, and there's really nothing new here. However, with EIGRP, adjusting the bandwidth is generally not the recommended way to influence the route metric. Now, there are some exceptions here. If you have a serial link, for instance, say a T1, however, the speed on that link is, say, a fractional T1. It's not the entire bandwidth. Well, there, obviously, you'd want to make an adjustment to the bandwidth, just like you did for OSPF, in order to reflect the, the accurate value. However, for all other purposes, we need to look at the other value, and that's the delay. And that's what we're going to focus on here. When we want to make changes and influence EIGRP metrics, we're going to make adjustments to the delay values. So to illustrate this, in our lab we have routers A and B with a serial link between them, and we'll be using the delay command in order to change the metric on router A, serial 000. Now the command itself is delay, this is an interface subcommand, and the parameter is tens of microseconds. Okay, so we'll make a change, and then we'll see how the route metric uh, adjusts itself based on that change. Okay, let's start off by taking a look at our serial interface. And on the top here, we see our bandwidth, 1536 kilobits, and then we see the delay value. So this is 20,000 microseconds. This is what EIGRP is using for this particular link, a delay of 20,000 microseconds. Now keep in mind, the command we're going to enter, the parameter, the value for the delay, is in tens of microseconds. So if we wanted to configure 20,000 microseconds, when we actually put the configuration command in, it would be 2,000 because it's tens of microseconds. It's easy to forget the two, and then your configuration uh, turns out to be different than what you expected on the interface. Okay, so let's remember that value. And then let's also take a look at the EIGRP topology table. And you can see we have uh, one route well, we have two. One is connected, the 172.16 route, but the slash 24 is what we're learning from router B. And here you can see the feasible distance, 230.6560, and then right after that, the reported distance, 128.256. Now, we'll keep, keep note of those numbers because after we make our configuration changes, the feasible distance should have a new value. So, we'll jump into configuration mode, and like I said, this is an interface subcommand. I will show you the parameter, and here it is, and they even remind you, this is in tens of microseconds, so they're trying to help us out here. Let's go ahead and make this something very different from what's configured. Let's put in 150 tens of microseconds for our configuration. And that's it. That's the only command we need to enter in order to change our delay value. Now let's take a look at our serial interface. And you can see the delay is 1500 microseconds. So that makes sense. We entered 150 in tens. Now we get 1500. Okay, so now we have a new delay value for the interface. EIGRP is going to recalculate the metric for this route. Let's return to the EIGRP topology table, and let's take a look at what we see there. And the feasible distance is now different. When we first looked at it, it was 230-6560, and now it's 183-2960. So it's quite a bit lower. And that makes sense, because we, we lowered the delay value, and a lower delay uh, means it's, it's going to be faster. Right? This is a better route now. So the overall metric, the overall cost for this route is going to go down as well. If we had increased the delay value by quite a lot, 
then this route would not be as attractive. It's our only one here, so it would still be used. However, the metric, the feasible distance, would be a lot higher. Okay, so we've successfully changed the uh, delay value, and by doing so, we've then influenced the feasible distance. Okay, to quickly summarize what we covered, we now know if we want to change the EIGRP delay value, then we have to go into the interface itself and configure a new delay. And we use the delay command, and the parameter is in tens of microseconds. We can confirm our work by looking at the interface itself. Again, keep in mind that displays microseconds, not tens of microseconds. And then finally, we took a look at the EIGRP topology table, and we saw uh, evidence that after we changed the delay value, the feasible distance, the metric of our route, was adjusted accordingly. Okay, and so that's it. That is how we configure EIGRP metrics by looking at the component values, and here we focused on delay. Thanks for watching.